my name is Benjamin Kurtz and this is my forge. This is the forge I made. It's a old grill that we repurposed. And I have what's going to be a railroad spike knife right now and I'm working on a sword too and this this lets airflow get to it and that's what heats it up. These are my old pair of tongs that I use. This, this anvil it's from 1884. It's pretty old. It's been beaten around but still works. I have a couple of different hammers. I have this one and then this bigger one. This is going to be a railroad spike knife and I've made some of those and you start out and you just take a railroad spike and I'll put it in the fire but when it heats up it'll be glowing and I'll take it out and I'll hold it like this with the tongs and I'll flip it each time I hit it but I'll take it and I'll set it about halfway down and then I'll hit it so it flattens it out and then I'll lengthen it by hitting it like this I'll lengthen the blade and eventually when it gets thin enough I'll then take it to the hand grinder inside and I'll get a general shape of what I want and then I'll take sandpaper and belt sander and I'll finish the knife and the sword I made I've never actually done it it was an old circular file and I've just been pounding it down trying to get it into the shape of a sword but it's taken a while alright so when the fire gets obviously really hot it'll make the metal glow and it'll soften the metal so when when you hit it with the hammer the metal will compress and it won't it won't break because it's so it's so hot and the metal just gets soft and you just keep pounding it down and it get thinner and thinner and it'll shed off some of the impurities in it um, and it'll become like like just little scales that shed off and eventually you'll just keep pounding and pounding and um, until it gets the thinness that you you want your knife to be so if you didn't know forging takes a long time it takes patience to wait for the metal to heat up, wait for the forge to heat up if you use a coal forge and while you're pounding it it may not seem like you're making progress but with each hit you're getting closer and closer to a finished knife or whatever you're making so in the end when you're done forging you have a hardened and tried and tested useful tool that you can use throughout your life. Just as forging takes patience and dedication so do our relationships with God, others and even our own bodies. But if we take time and dedicate ourselves to allowing the Holy Spirit to work, we can also develop hardened, tried, tested, useful spiritual tools that we can use throughout our lives. God also gave us other people so we don't have to do this alone. Our ladies had a great time connecting with Jesus and each other at their retreat just last weekend. Our men's retreat with Dr. Randy Smith will be October 25th and 26th at Camp Manawagon. This will be a great time connecting with other men as well as a chance to kickstart discipleship here at MGBC. Next Sunday is the last day to register and you can do that at the info desk or mgbconline.com. After the retreat, we'll be launching Forged for Men and Refined for Women. These are five week discipleship tools that will help us work through practical goals for spiritual, relational, and physical growth. We will also work in groups of two to four for accountability and encouragement. This is open to anyone as young as sophomores in high school and as old as Methuselah. Keep in mind, we will be offering alternative assignments for those who can't complete the physical challenges, so don't let that scare you off. Registration will open in a few weeks, so if you'd like to receive information as it is released, please sign up on our interest list at the information desk or on the discipleship page at mgbconline.com.